Good morning, friends. It is Saturday, April 8th, and starting my weekend off with pancakes. There's no other way to do it. I think it's weird because I literally eat oats like every single morning, but in like all my recent vlogs, I've had like French toast or pancakes. So I like, try to switch things up and I'm like, you guys don't even know what I normally eat. But Saturdays are always pancake days. Um, and I'll put the recipe in the description box. I have my coffee. But I'm not really sure what this vlog is going to be. I think I might just vlog the whole weekend because I do have some fun stuff going on. But I've been super sick the past few days. I was like really sick Tuesday. And I felt better Wednesday and then Thursday and Friday. I like thought I was going to die. So I went to the doctor yesterday and I have strep throat. But now I'm on antibiotics so I actually like feel totally fine today. But I wanted to pick up my camera because I missed you and I just figured I would show you bits and pieces when I do do stuff over the weekend so right now I'm going to eat these and get some schoolwork done because what else do I do um and then I have some errands to run so I'll catch up with you guys then okay it's like 11 o'clock now and I actually have a lot I have to do but before I do anything else I am first of all finishing my pot of coffee with cashew milk and stevia and I saw someone on I think it was Instagram or maybe YouTube was cooking their sweet potatoes in a crock pot and I never like prepped my potatoes but I was like this might be worth a try. So right now I have this pile of sweet potatoes that I just got in a bag and I just weighed them out like how I do my prepped potatoes like this and poked holes in them and then I'm just going to cover them in tin foil and put them in the crock pot so we shall see how this turns out. Okay, so I just have all my potatoes wrapped in the crock pot on high. And I'm just gonna leave them there. It's like 11.15 right now, so we'll take them out at like, well, we'll check on them at like three and see. But I need to get ready and get changed to go get a cashier's check to pay my rent. I want to do a Trader Joe's haul if I have time. I already did a homework assignment, so that's cool. But yeah, it's it's amazing. Like I feel like a new person and I've only been on meds for like a day. But I'm like, this is what it feels like to not have daggers in your throat and to not be like exhausted. Like I feel so good. This is amazing. Okay, so I'm out of my apartment. I got my cashier's check and everything for my rent. So that's cool. Um, but I need to go home now because it is 1.30 and I'm hungry and I need to eat. But I just wanted to update you guys and let you know that I made it out of my apartment. So that's cool. I also posted on um, an Instagram picture this morning to just like ask me any questions because I feel like this vlog isn't going to be that exciting since I'm literally just running a ton of errands. Um, tomorrow, my girl Alyssa is putting on like a boot camp so I'm going to go film that for her and I'll bring you guys to that but like today it's just like errands maybe a super light workout later if I keep feeling this phenomenal but yeah I'm feeling good so I'm gonna answer a few questions just as I go through my day it's not gonna be like a Q&A but like you know thought I might as well do that but now I'm gonna go home and make some food it's like two o'clock <laughs> a little late for me to be eating lunch personally but I guess I ate breakfast kind of late so whatever but this is the bowl of food we have. And I always say it doesn't look appetizing, but you guys always say it does. I just feel like when I look at people's pictures of food and stuff on Instagram, it always looks like it should be at like a five-star restaurant. And I'm like, my big bowls of stuff don't look like that. But here's what we have. Chicken, jasmine rice, zucchini, like the usual combo. A runny egg. Sorry, I had to. Oh, yes. And then that is one of these holy guacamole minis. And I've always been a fan of using whole avocados, but recently they've been really expensive. And buying a pack of six of these little ones was like $5, which it was like that much to buy two avocados. So these are delicious. One, it's like guac. Who doesn't freaking love guac? And all I did is I stuck a couple of them in the freezer and then put them back in the fridge when like... I knew I'd be eating them. And 
The macros for one are three fat, four carbs, and one protein. So, not bad macros. And, yeah, they're bomb and convenient. So, that's kind of been, like, my new thing recently. But, I'm freaking starving. So, I'm going to eat this. And, then I have to take care of more bang stuff. So, we'll be off to do that. Isn't my life so exciting? You guys wonder I don't, why I don't vlog every day. It's because I always just like am doing homework and running errands and stuff like that. Hey, you see these cars? I always wonder. They're like matching and they're right next to each other. I like they're the cars of like two people who are like sisters or something and live together and their parents bought them matching cars. I don't know what other explanation there is. But I literally ate that bowl of food in like T minus five minutes. And now I kind of feel like I have a rock in my stomach, but I was really hungry. Um, and I feel like I don't have that much time. It's already like 2.30. And I have so many banking adult things to do. Because everything's closed tomorrow, so I have to do it all today. But, onwards. Forever vlogging for my car, but I'm done with bank stuff for the day. Thank God, shoot me in the face. Um, but I think I'm going to try to run to Trader Joe's. I got my caffeine, thank goodness. And I realized I said I was gonna answer a couple questions and I haven't even started looking at them and I already have like a decent amount. Obviously I'm not gonna answer them all because this isn't a and a but I will do another Q&A soon, so think of your questions. Um, first one, all time favorite movie, Miracle, the, the like hockey movie. I used to watch it like all the time because for those of you who don't know, I used to play hockey. My brother plays hockey in college and stuff, so it's like a big part of my family and it's just like a freaking great movie. Do I isolate my abs and do ab workouts? If so, weighted or unweighted? So I'm lucky, I'm just like a naturally abby person and one thing you have to realize, his abs are like so genetic like one if you can get abs to just like the shape of them like I have kind of like the six pack whatever my obliques are like really strong but some people you like can get super super lean and like not even have abs and some people can be like in the depths of their off season and have abs I'm kind of like in the middle but I don't ever do just like have an ab training day so like, I never do more than like five or ten minutes of abs at a time like maybe once a week but that's the answer to that question and now I'm gonna try to do a little Trader Joe's run and then I'm feeling really good still so I think I'm gonna do like a light workout tonight. We'll see. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so we made it. And I hate vlogging in the sun even though it's like super, super nice out because I can't see myself. So I don't know if you guys can see me. But I'm literally wearing all black and I've worn all black for like the past few days and I don't know why but I'm just wearing my Vans and then these are the Align pants. And this is a shirt that the boy gave me. It just says Ultimate Sport Nutrition, which is the supplement shop that he owns. So, into Trader Joe's we go. It's like freaking a zoo because it's the weekend right now. Okay, so I'm home from the store and I'll show you guys what I got. It wasn't a huge haul, but I got all the stuff that I needed from Trader Joe's and a couple new things. So that's exciting. So let me set you down. We'll figure this out. Okay, so first things first, you guys can see, I picked up some Cab. I showed you guys this before. I'm not a huge fan of this wine, but it's $3, so you gotta capitalize on that, you know? Um, I picked up, woo, center cut bacon. This is my favorite. Macros for two slices are three fat and four protein. So that's really good for bacon. Um, I picked up a bunch of chicken breast, just all natural chicken that I'll prep in the crock pot tomorrow. Um, I got this organic brown rice gluten-free pasta that I'm really excited to try. I'm really not a huge pasta person. Like, I would way rather eat rice than pasta. I've been that way my whole life. Um, but I thought I might as well switch things up, maybe like do it in a full day of eating or something. I got 96.4 ground beef. I got these zucchini, which usually these come in like four packs, but look, they're like little mini ones. So I, I'll probably just like use a whole one at a time, but I like zucchini. I got mushrooms. I got spinach. I got broccoli, super exciting. 
Um, I got the ready-made jasmine rice, which I don't use a ton of this, honestly, especially recently because it's like $4 for this box. And I use like a bag at a time, so it's like three servings of rice for $4, which like I can get a huge bag of rice for that much. Um, but it's nice if I'm like in a pinch and need to hurry or I like forget to prep rice, that's when I use these. I got almond butter, I got green dragon sauce, and then lastly I got unfiltered apple cider vinegar, which you guys told me I take apple cider vinegar every day and I guess the one that I used in my last couple videos wasn't unfiltered and like that's really bad for you. You have to have the one that has like the stuff at the bottom. So, I had to pick that up today because I've had a few days without my apple cider vinegar and I miss my daily morning routine. Oh, and then I also got these um, crispy, crunchy chocolate chip cookies that are gluten free. And I've never seen them there before, but I'm really excited to put these on top of my like dessert stuff. Um, the macros for two cookies are seven fat, 18 carbs, and one protein. I'll probably just use one, but I just thought it was something new and exciting to try. And I couldn't resist because yo girl loves cookies. But I'm gonna put these away and I can tell the sweet potatoes are done. So we'll check those out. And then I'll probably get ready to head to the gym. Okay, so it was definitely a success. Oh, do you see that? Flying sweet potato and it like smashed when it dropped. Like they're so soft and it has the um, like liquid on the outside. So they're gonna be super, super sweet. I'm really excited. So definitely try putting your sweet potatoes in the crock pot. It was literally, what was that, like five hours? Just wrapped in tin foil on high and they have like the sticky. Oh, I'm so, so, so excited to eat these. So I'm just going to keep these in the fridge and eat them as I want. And now time for snack. I did get a question though that asked what my favorite low fiber Fruits are and just carbs in general for bulking. So if you guys know, when you're bulking and your macros are high, like right now I'm eating 360 grams of carbs a day, so it's really easy to overshoot your fiber. And I try to eat like 20 to 30 grams of fiber a day. So it's really easy to go over that if you're eating like a ton of fibrous like fruits and veggies and stuff like that. So in terms of fruit, I really like um, banana and mango are two that are like pretty high carb and you can get a lot of carbs or not a lot of fiber. Um, like you guys see me use berries, those are awful for bulking. I only use a little, like I'll use like 50 to 75 grams just for like flavor because I like them, but that is not, like I don't count on them as like a major carb source. Um, and then in terms of other carbs, stuff like cream of rice, you guys know I eat a ton of white rice. Um, like white potatoes, like red potatoes, gold potatoes, Yukon potatoes, all that kind of stuff are pretty low fiber. Um, cereal, just like normal bread that's not super high fiber is good too. Um, those are probably my go-tos, but that answers that question. And that snack. So, I mean, at this point, I don't really know what else you would expect. I just have two, they're plain rice cakes. I'm so mad, I'm out of caramel rice cakes and I really don't like plain rice cakes, but I top them with two tablespoons of this toffee crunch nuts and more, so it'll add some sweetness. This stuff's delicious. It's like the only protein peanut butter that I really like. And then banana and cinnamon, as you can see. So that should be tasty. And then I have two servings of rice checks cereal that I just mixed with cashew milk and the chocolate peanut butter protein from Unico. And then I also put in a scoop of the greens because it it sounds like it'd be gross to put greens in cereal, but like it looks like chocolate milk and it tastes like chocolate milk. So it's almost like chocolate cereal or like mixing your cereal with chocolate milk. Headed to the gym. I have my strawberry limeade pre workout. Um, and honestly, I feel so good. I feel like I could crush a lift. But I'm just gonna take it really easy today and do like a light push day. My splits all messed up because I have taken three days off this week already just from being sick. But um, I feel like I could go like kill it. But I just know that 
I don't need to today, and even though I'm feeling really good because I'm on antibiotics, my body's still not like healed. So we're just gonna take it light, just get some blood flow into the muscles, and it should be good. But I did get a question asking about the 10,000 calorie challenge because I've said it a million times. I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna freaking complete it. But I said I would do it when I got to 10,000 subscribers and honestly, I'm getting kind of antsy. Just because I've like seen so many people do it recently and I'm like, I just started to bulk, I have like a crazy appetite. Um, so maybe, maybe that'll be coming sooner than you guys think. I also asked like if I would do it by myself or with friends and I would for sure do it with friends. I think it'd be 10 times more fun to like do it with someone, but stay tuned. And comment below and let me know if there's anything in particular you'd want me to eat when I did the 10,000 calorie challenge. Okay, that's it. So I just got to the gym and I put my hair in a ponytail because I wasn't really feeling a braid today. Switching things up and I just put my um, aminos in my shaker cup and I just fill this with water so then I have aminos during my workout, but I thought I'd answer one question before I go in. This is like turning into a Q&A, which wasn't my intention, but there was a lot of good questions. Um, and that was about working out when you're sick. And I will say, I think you sh you'll know if you should work out when you're sick. Working out when you're sick, when you're sick, can honestly do a lot more harm than good. Sometimes if you just have a little cold or something, it's okay to push through it and just like do a, just do what you can do. But for example, me, I took a bunch of rest days this week because I was sick. And one day when I felt better, I went in, killed a workout, and then the next day I felt like shit again. So I think a lot of times people get caught up in like, you think you're gonna like lose all your gains in one or two days, and you're not. Just like it takes a lot of time to build strength and muscle, it takes a lot of time for your muscle to go away. You're not gonna like gain fat overnight. Um, so I think it's definitely better to, if you're feeling under the weather, give your body a break and just get back at it after you've had a couple days feeling really good. Like today, even though I feel really, really good, I'm gonna take it super light, if that makes sense, because I just don't wanna put too much extra stress on my body. I'm actually gonna bring you guys in, cause I haven't gotten workout footage in a while and I'm not gonna film my whole workout or anything, um, but I thought maybe I could get a couple Clips of my light shoulders and chest and triceps workout. Look who I found. <laughs> You're gonna make me laugh. Strong AF though. She makes me look like a little wimp. So I thought for this workout I would do a little voiceover just because I haven't done one in a while. So you guys know I wasn't feeling too great so I kept weights a little lighter and didn't really push myself super hard. But I started off with just a warm up and then I did three sets of 15 for lateral raises. And for these, you really want to make sure that you're just using your shoulder and not using too much momentum. I just stuck with 15-pound dumbbells because that's, like, pretty standard for me. Next, I did some incline bench because I feel like that gets chest and shoulders. And I just did three sets of 15 um, with 30 pounds. And then next, I did these overhead press on the Smith machine, which I really, really like. And I do them behind the head because I feel like it's a better range of motion. And... I really like those too. Again, you don't want to be using too much momentum. I just feel like you feel a lot more in your shoulders when you do it on the Smith machine. And next, I did these lateral raises on the cable, and I really like these because, again, it's like a really good isolation movement and really forces you to use your shoulders. And you want to make sure that you're not going all the way down, which sounds weird, but you want to almost pause like three quarters of the way down so you're not jerking it up. And then Next, I did these overhand and underhand grip superset with the little barbell. So what you're going to do for those is you do 10 to 15 reps overhand grip and then 10 to 15 underhand. And then I just finished off doing these single arm overhead press with the dumbbell. I love burning out with these on my shoulder days. I do three sets of as many reps as I can per arm. Um, and you don't need a super heavy weight. I usually use one that I can get like 15 to 20 reps on the first set. Um, but yeah, this workout felt really good. It wasn't anything crazy, but it just felt good to get in there and get blood flowing. And you guys can see I got a pretty good pump too. So try some of those things out and let me know how you like them. Okay, so it's like 8.45. I'm just getting home from the gym. I feel like I've been vlogging in this stairwell all day. But it felt so good to just get in there and I felt really good. It wasn't like a crazy workout or anything, but I hope you guys enjoyed that footage. Sorry, I know the angles were probably really weird. It's really hard to film when you don't have someone filming for you, 
my friend Kelly was there and that was really fun because I haven't seen her in forever. She's a power lifter, so she works like a power lifting, works out at like a power lifting gym. Um, but I'm just going to whip up some food really fast, so I'll show you guys that. And then my plan for the rest of the night is to bring medicine to the boy because he's actually been like way sicker than me all week. So I feel really bad for him. He, he's been like out of the game because he hasn't been on antibiotics or anything. And then I'm gonna hang out with my friend Courtney who's been in a few of my vlogs and I think we're just gonna like have a glass of wine and chill and talk and catch up and I'm going to bed early. But that is my plan and I can't believe it's already 8.45. So, gotta get to doing things. But I'll show you guys my food. Okay, so dinner is ready. <laughs> Honestly, just a bunch of carbs. A lot of jasmine rice, sweet potato. I have some asparagus and mushrooms and ground turkey and coconut oil. But yeah, I try to keep my post-workout meal. I've said this before. Mostly carbs and protein. A little bit of fat because my fat's higher now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to vlog the rest of the night. But if anything super exciting happens, I'll let you guys know. And yeah, I'm gonna uh, eat some food now. Dinner at nine o'clock, typical. Okay, so I literally look like a man and it's like 10.45 right now. I just got back, <clears throat> got back from my friend Courtney's and I'm having a glass of wine. I also realized I'm on antibiotics and I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to drink. But hopefully I'm okay. Um, but I'm just gonna start editing this vlog and then I have one more meal and then I'm passing out because I have to go help Alyssa tomorrow and I don't want to be dead for that. So, I'm gonna conclude this vlog here because looking at this footage, I have a lot and we will resume in the morning. But, as always, I hope you guys got something out of this video. I hope it was at least entertaining to watch and comment, share, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one.